I'm Debbie Bell Hosking for Finextra TV here at Cybos in London. And I'm talking to Saskia Devolder of Swift. We're chatting about instant payments in Europe and the transformation of European payments. Hello, Saskia. Hi, Debbie. Good nice. to have you here. Thank you for inviting me. Now, we're chatting uh, instant payments in Europe. Um, Swift has completed an instant payments pilot. Can you tell us some more about that? Yes, indeed. The last few weeks we've been working very hard actually on a cross-border instant payment pilot. And so 19 banks supported us in that trial. 12 of them sent an instant payment into, sent a payment into Europe. And actually a number of banks then transformed that into a TIPS payment, which is the instant payment system of the Euro system. And then the banks actually uh, posted it on the beneficiary account. And we had two great results, I must say, out of this entire trial. The first one being that we could actually do this in a number of seconds. The fastest one was 42 seconds, but I believe we can even get that better when we continue the trial. Um, but the most important thing from my perspective was that we did some of those transactions completely outside of the European business hours. And actually we did one from Australia to um, France and then into a beneficiary account in Spain uh, outside of business hours in less than a minute. So I think that was a great accomplishment. Now we're not there yet. This was a trial. So the next steps will be to continue to work with those banks on the elements that out of the trial we have uh, come to a conclusion which we now need to adapt a little bit to actually anticipate to go live in the next couple of months. So this is all very exciting. Um, and yet it's just a segment of a wider European transformation. I mean, what are the main changes? And to take it one step beyond that, how does it fit in what's happening globally? Okay. Well, already Europe, I think, is leading a little bit away. We had in the last couple of years with PSD2 open banking already a big movement into Europe of a transformation where banks want to offer better services to their clients faster payments, seamless payments, frictionless, etc. Uh, but next to the regulation from a couple of years, we had the last, I think, 24 months, a lot of instant payment systems coming, uh, both domestically as at a pan-European level with RT1 from EBA clearing and tips from the Euro system. But now looking at the future, um, actually the RTGS systems in Europe will modernize. And what does that mean? That means that, of course, they will be using new technologies but also they will give extra services to the bank, such as extended opening hours, um, a different way of managing liquidity, especially the Eurosystem one, where they will manage liquidity across the different target services, whether it's TIPS, the instant payment system, T2S, so Target 2 for securities, or Target 2, the RTGS system. Banks will be able to manage the liquidity in a very different way, much more cost effective. So many different services, and then of course, that will include also the migration to ISO 20022. Uh, and the big difference of ISO 20022 versus uh, ISO 15022 used today is that it can contain much more data, but also much more structured data, which is critical for the banks to reduce the costs, to also guarantee much more interoperability. And I think all of that fits well with um, you know, if you look at SEPA was ISO, instant payments is ISO, so you can see that interoperability within Europe and within all those systems uh, should be able to be uh, acquired in the next couple of years. And this is all in the benefit of the banks to be able to offer new and more cost effective services to their customers, whether they're retail, corporate or their FI business. So the banks are faced with challenges. I mean, how, what would you say are the main challenges and also the key milestones towards that deadline of November 2021? Okay, well the key challenges is that of course a lot of European banks don't only do business in Europe and there is also a global view. We see that also in the rest of the world market infrastructures are um, announcing or planning to announce when they will do migration to ISO 2002 and an upgrade of their technology platform. Um, so they need to plan and look ahead of uh, outside of Europe. Of course, within Europe, they have their own challenge of Target 2, which is planned for 21 November 2021. Uh, and I, um, it's a very important day because it's going to be a big bang migration. What does that mean? That means that everybody will migrate at the same time in that weekend. 
not only for target two, but also for the other one. And the biggest challenge for the banks is that they need to review what are the different applications which are involved, but also the channels to their customers. Because if that standard contains much more information, they better make sure that they collect that information from their clients, but also they expose that information to their clients. So it's channels review, applications. Of course, they need to choose a network service provider for with who they will do the communication layer. And for that, they need to report because the ECB uh, and also EBA uh, clearing, who will do exactly the same for Euro One, of course, they want to guarantee a very good and smooth migration. And in order to do that, they set a few deadlines, which is now, of course, making the planning and already confirmed to the ECB that they have a planning and a project manager. Um, in the first half of next year, they will be asked to um, show the contract that they have signed with a network service provider, uh, which could, of course, be one of them being SWIFT. Um, and then in the early 2021, they will be able to start testing you know, testing their application, testing with the Euro system and EBA clearing that everything functions well in order to prepare for that big bang migration. And then what they also need to take into account that as SWIFT, we also have GPI. You know, we talked about the instant payment system. We talked about the market infrastructures. Since 2017, the community has been working very hard on uh, redoing correspondent banking, yeah, to bring it to seamless payments in a much faster way. And we see that already 60% of the correspondent banking uh, payments are GPI. Well, because of all these migrations of these market infrastructures to ISO 20022, we also with the community that together decided that we will migrate also that correspondent banking bit, which is now in MTs, also to ISO 20022, actually starting November 2021 and then go on for another four years. They get the time at their pace to migrate over. But nevertheless, um, I think it's easier for banks if they start planning all that now, take into consideration what is going to be the impact on their clients, on themselves and their infrastructure, and how they can reduce the cost as much as possible, still offering all this to their clients. And Saskia, how would you sum up how SWIFT is supporting the industry? Okay. Uh, well, we're in the middle, in the heart of uh, the financial industry and especially of all these different projects. What we're doing is most of our clients actually already have a full SWIFT infrastructure. So our aim was to allow them, as the impact on their own system is already quite heavy, to make it as simple as possible so they can reuse their SWIFT infrastructure. We're shielding away the complexity of some of these projects as far as we can actually. So to make it very simple for them, keep using what they have with a little bit of adoption to it. Um, but we're trying to make it as simple as possible. And I think most importantly for the banks is to guarantee a big bank migration is that we allow them to test before they start testing and with the Euro system or with EBA clearing. Before they start testing, they can already test with us, you know, to test the quality uh, of their migration, to, you know, to feel confident that everything will be smooth for their clients because that would be the biggest impact that nobody wants to have. And SWIFT is used to do big bang migrations, so we will get them through that all together with them. <laughs> well, Saskia, thank you so much for chatting to us all about the migrations and the deadlines and, and the changes in Europe and payments. Yes. Thank, thank you, you. Debbie.